Hey guys, Leanna here on Grady's Mom. I am back with a new week of what I packed my husband for lunch. But before we jump into what I packed Monday through Friday, I wanted to share with you quickly that I do have a discount code on these Yum Boxes. I get so many questions about these whenever I show them in my husband's lunch videos. They are not just for kids. I have one of my own. My husband has this one. We also have another orange one. We have a green one. We all use them. I know lots of adults that use them for work, for portion control. They are leak proof. The insert pulls right out super easy like that. And you can go ahead and stick the clear part in the dishwasher. Um, obviously, you can hand wash it. And then the outside shell, I always hand wash. It is recommended to hand wash them because of that seal, which keeps everything leak proof. So I've worked with Yumbox many times before. I am not an affiliate of theirs. I just partner up with them every once in a while to host discount codes. So if you are in the market for one of these, the website you can purchase one at with my code is just yumboxlunch.com and you can use code Grady's Mom at checkout to save 20% off any regular priced item. Uh, they do have free shipping at $75 or up. And if you do have multiple kids and you've been looking to get these for your kiddos, I would definitely urge you to use that code. I do not get any commission off it at all. I am simply just using them to host the discount code. So let's go ahead now and get into the video. Uh, this code is only valid for February 2019. So if you are watching this video after February 2019, it is not going to be valid anymore. So again, if you guys want one, I would highly recommend going on to the website and hopping on and using my code right now so you can save the 20%. Let's go ahead and get into what I packed my husband for the week and thank you guys so much for watching. Hey guys, good morning. Leanne here on Grady's Mom, starting a new week of what I packed my husband for lunch. It is Monday, and if you are new here to my channel, I do have an entire playlist of these lunch videos from over the years. In case you want more ideas, they're linked down below in the description box. So today I'm packing Matt a ginger ale. This is the Price Chopper brand, and then I used one of our Swell and a Starbucks bottles today. I've had this bottle for years. I have quite a few small bottles. Um, and in this one, I just made some like Lipton um, peach tea mix that I had to use up. It was like the powdered mix. So I just made a picture of it and then I put some in um, here for him to take. I made a wrap today. I think this is the, there's one more of these left. It's the rosemary and olive oil wraps. Um, so this is the second to last one. I've got turkey. I've got romaine. I've got some Swiss cheese and then some pesto aioli from Terrapin Farms. I have a multi-grain bagel and cream cheese dip in the chive and onion flavor. You can get these pretty much anywhere, um, any major like retailer. Uh, usually I find these where the cream cheese is or like by the yogurt in those two areas. Uh, I packed them some raspberries. I think I was able to get like, I don't know, 12 of them in there. Um, and then also one of these Kirkland nut bars. This is the almond, cashew, and walnut with dark chocolate drizzle. So pretty easy lunch today on Monday, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. Getting ready to pack up Matt's work cooler, and today I'm giving him a Dr. Um, Pepper, like a Price Chopper brand of it, and then some Gatorade Flow in the Tidal Wave Punch. I made a big batch of pasta salad for food prep this week. Um, I do have a whole playlist on my food prep videos, which I'll link below. Um, so it's just pasta salad here, and I tried to I used one of the containers that I pack his sandwiches in to kind of try and give him like an equivalent amount to a sandwich. I've got two of the um, like the cutie oranges. Uh, we love these, and this time of year they just taste really good. So I got two of these peeled here and ready for him just to eat a small um, little container of Pringles. I like these for portion control. And then a Trader Joe's nutty chocolate chewy coated and drizzled granola bar. And this is his lunch today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. guys getting ready to pack up Matt's work cooler today I'm giving him a Dunkin iced um, mocha iced coffee drink uh, the mocha's at the bottom so you have to shake them while well, just an FYI um, got this in a four pack at Walmart 
one of the Walmart brand Clear Essential Pineapple Pomegranate Waters. This is like a dupe sort of for the vitamin water, but the Walmart version. And of course, as always, the water cooler. The sandwich I made on this Anzio roll, it has like the nice cornmeal dusting on top, which gives it like a nice texture. We've got turkey, we've got romaine, we've got pepper jack cheese, and then some mayo as well. Um, the last of the pasta salad, I portioned out this little cup last night so he could have it as like a little side. And then here's just a plastic disposable fork. Some celery here that's cut up into ready to dip uh, pieces in the Jif to go creamy peanut butter. Um, I buy them in the packs like this at Walmart, I find has the best price. I'm not sure if all these sells this. I want to say they do, but um, I know I get these normally at Walmart. Um, they come eight in a pack. And then I'm also giving him a couple little Reese's um, hearts. They're really small um, as well. So this is his lunch today, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, I'm getting ready to pack up Matt's work cooler. Today I'm giving him and Arnold Palmer half and half iced tea lemonade, another of the Dunkin' Iced Mochas, and then I made him a salad today. I have a bed of romaine in the bottom and I really packed it in. This is a decent sized container. So I packed in the romaine, pushed it down, and then I topped it with cherry tomatoes, some cucumber, there's some pepper in here, some shredded cheese, and then a cut up um, chicken cutlet by Purdue so I just baked it off and cut it up into smaller pieces I also put I don't know if I said shredded cheddar and then I put these um, tortilla strips the Santa Fe style ones I actually have the bag here to show you um, I get these at Walmart I have to remember to pull this coupon off um, I get these at Walmart they're near the produce section usually on like a, a cart with like different things like this salad toppers um, we've tried the original, and then now we're trying this one, and it's really good. Um, and I'm actually going to look to see what other flavors they have, but they're really thin and crispy. Um, just salad topper strips. I've got some ranch dressing here. I've got one of the Volpe Rotinis. I showed you guys this bag before, but just in case there's anybody new. Um, these are mozzarella and prosciutto. I get them at BJ's. Uh, there's 12 grams of protein. They are gluten-free with no nitrates or nitrates added. And, um, yeah, he really likes them. They also make them in the pepperoni. Um, a Kirkland Nut Bar, which our friend Sue sent us. So we're still enjoying those. This is the Almond Cashew Walnut with Dark Chocolate Drizzle. A little cutie orange. And then some of these light um, Cheez-It. Let me show you guys. Snapped. They're kind of like cracker chips. They're very lightweight. They're very... Um, much lighter than like a regular cheese it but yeah that's the double cheese flavor so this is his lunch today and we'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys good morning it's friday we made it to the end of the work week today i'm packing matt up a clear american blackberry or blueberry passion fruit um like walmart's version of the vitamin water it's about half the price um a great value also all walmart brand cream soda and as always a water cooler uh, today instead of a sandwich i packed up the yum box so I've got about five slices of hard salami that I cut in half and then rolled up so it would fit um, in here well. I've got a mozzarella cheese stick and then a cheddar cheese stick, a mandarin orange, some ranch here to dip the cherry tomatoes and the cucumbers. I tried to just fit it in there as best I could. And then I'm using up the last of my cantaloupe and blueberries from uh, my food prep Sunday afternoon. So I was able to get from Sunday afternoon all the way to Friday morning. Um, and make the fruit stretch, which was nice. And then I'll go ahead now and uh, prep up some new um, fruit for the next week. But anyways, this is his lunch um, in the main, you know, his main lunch today, like main event. I also gave him some of the great value. This is the fully loaded white cheddar popcorn. It actually looks like this, just in case you're curious. Um, it's a pretty good dupe for the smart food, the black bag popcorn, the white cheddar popcorn. So I'm giving him that. And then one of these um, Kirkland nut bars that our friend Sue sent us. This one's almond cashews, walnuts, drizzled in dark chocolate. But yeah, this is his lunch today. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's What's for Lunch. Once again, I do have an entire playlist of these videos linked down below. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <music>